Hey guys, so we're back with another reggae video and uh, we're going to go a bit more in depth uh, into the, you know, what the reggae feel and the reggae sound is more about, is all about. So uh, we're going to have different instruments. We're going to have, you know, quite of a setup. So uh, we're going to dive into that right away. So yeah, we're going to build the beat and uh, we're going to talk about three different aspects of the beat uh, to be simple today. We're going to, the kick, the, the, the snare, the rim shot, and the hi-hats. So we're going to keep it very simple and we're going to start by building a beat so we can kind of uh, build on top of it as far as the video goes. So the important thing is to do it, the rim shot, on the third uh, time. So that way, that gives it a... That, I mean, that's the essence of the reggae drumming, <clears throat> if you will. It's a very simple way to put it. So we're going to do a hi-hat right now. And uh, for the purpose of the video, we're going to keep it simple. And I encourage you to keep it simple in general, because sometimes lesser is better, you know? So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to play something very simple. Yes, what's up everybody? How you doing? I'm Levi and I'm gonna give you a couple of hints about reggae guitar. So first thing you wanna know about reggae guitar is it's mostly played staccato, which means you're never really playing a full chord with all the strings in it. And like it's mostly downstroke. You can add swing to it. Or you can just play it straight. The Wawa effect is like really important to it changes everything. Let's see how it sounds on a beat. What's up, everybody? Still Levy going down in the studio for y'all. We're going to teach you how to play some reggae today. We're going to talk about the bass right now. So what you need to know first is you have to set your tone properly, which means you pretty much cut all of the high frequencies. I mid too. You want to like really round and fatty, silky smooth, steady rock kind of bass tone. You don't want uh, a lot of attack to it. You don't like want to ear your your fingers. So you have to play really smooth. Ghost notes are really important too, and silence, uh, are like equally important than just playing notes. You don't need a lot of notes or like fancy scales or whatever. You just pretty much you can groove around three notes, and this is what I'm gonna show you right now. So now we're going to build uh, the piano chords, we're going to start stacking them and I'm going to give you some few simple pointers, you know, how to play the, the reggae piano. Um, just some very simple stuff uh, that can make I get the, the track, I guess, much better. Um, so the first trick is, you say if you're playing with a B minor chord, uh, which is the, the chord we're playing with here, you're going to want to put both octaves, say the first octave, the first B minor, and then the other B minor. So. I, Instead of being it like, it's, it's, it makes it fatter, you know? So it goes a bit like this. And at the same time, it gives you the other hand the chance to do some little licks on the side, you know? Another thing is you can do, another thing you can do is, um, 
Yeah, so you you have to play the piano like the guitar more staccato. Uh, that makes it you know it just makes it punchy. And the difference is you'll hear it right away. It goes you know if you don't play it staccato, it goes, which is not which does not give it much of an impact. So again. So now we're gonna put the bubble, and in case you're not familiar with the what the bubble is, it's a rhythmic, uh, you, it's a rhythm you can do with the organ, and um, it's it kind of it kind of uh, puts some meat around the skank, you know, if it's some weird to say it, and the bubble sounds like this. You can kind of uh, you can put it or you cannot put it. You can even do it sometimes lower like this, depending on how the song feels, and um, and uh, it's pretty important, you know. Some people, pretty much every reggae album has some bubbles at some point in the album. Dropping in your ears so nice Carry me around those good